Okay, so even before we start assembling the um, uh, power board, or any boards for that matter, first thing that we want to do is we want to mark up the heatsink. So um, take out the uh, power board, take out the heatsink, orient it like this, so that the uh, uh, part with the uh, cut lip is to your right. Place the um, power board onto the heatsink in such a way that it's roughly in the middle of the heatsink. And maybe a little bit closer to you on this side, so maybe there is uh, a quarter inch from the edge of the heatsink to the board. Make sure that the holes, the mounting holes, the IGBT mounting holes, which are these, are falling in between the fins of the heatsink. So this, this holes falling in between the uh, fins of the heatsink here. Um, the IGBTs are placed in such a way that if you align one of them, the second will be aligned automatically. So once we align that, just do some markings through these holes. These are IGBT mounts. The next one is the um, um, diode input diode bridge. It will be mounted through these holes. And use one of these to create another hole. Uh, this will be used for a thermistor. So now you are almost set with the mapping of the pattern, of the mounting pattern for the board. The two other um, holes that we need to make are the ones that will be used to mount the heatsink itself to the enclosure. So roughly in the center here, put a mark so it's in, the, in between the two fins, as you can see here, in the middle of the fins put a mark, this one hole, again in the center, roughly in between the uh, fins, put another one. So next what we're going to do, we are going to drill and tap the six holes here with 1032 thread. This will be um, a hole that will not go all the way through, uh, just about um, maybe 3 eighths of an inch. Um, this will be where we would put the thermistor. And these ones uh, have to be drilled with a larger drill bit so that the 1024, 1032 um, bolt comes through. So we're going to do that next.